Okay, so here we are on part one of what it takes to build a successful uh, sales funnel. And as I talked about all those different parts in the introductory video, uh, we're going to take this one step at a time. So our very first step is what we call our lead magnet. Now, it's kind of self-explanatory because the whole purpose of a sales funnel is to capture leads, capture people who are interested in the product services that you are offering, but also we want to capture them on our mailing list so that we can market to them over and over again. Uh, not just the people who don't buy, but the people who do buy, we want to continue to market to them as well because uh, quite honestly, the hardest sale you'll ever make is the first sale. Once you've sold to someone once and they've gotten good value, then you can offer them other things in the future and so we want them on our mailing list and so we want to be a magnet and draw them in and so what we do is we create something that we refer to as a lead magnet. Uh, you could also call it a freebie. If that's easier to understand, but it's something of value that we are going to offer them in order to entice them to number one, take a look at our offer, number two, give us their name and email address or at least their email address so that we have them on a list that we can continue to market to in the future. So what kind of freebie can we offer? So we can offer things like ebooks. Uh, free reports, a video, a training video like what uh, I'm doing right here that can't spell. So a video that explains something to them that is that they're interested in, and so. There are lots of other things that we can offer them besides these, but this is a good idea to get you started in thinking of what a lead magnet is. And the one thing that you want to keep in mind about your lead magnet is it needs to be in line with your offer. It needs to be in line with uh, what they're going to see from you in the future. So let's just say that you're a brick and mortar business and you do roofing and you're trying to create a mailing list of potential customers. Uh, you could offer them a free appraisal on their roof as a lead magnet. If you're a roofing company and you're trying to build, get people on your list, you don't want to offer them a free guide to landscaping because that has nothing to do with roofing. So we want to make sure that our lead magnet is in conjunction is congruent with what it is that we are trying to accomplish. So if we are internet marketers and we're trying to uh, teach other people how to make money online, then a free ebook on exactly that, your first steps in making money online or something like that. So you want to make sure that what you're offering is in line with what it is that they're going to see by way of an offer from you, uh, not just on the page that they're going to be going to, but also in the future. Because if you get them on your list for one thing and then you all of a sudden switch gears on them, uh, they're not going to stay with you. They're going to drop off your mailing list. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away from the whiteboard here. I just wanted to talk about a few things to kind of get us going. I'm going to actually take you online and now show you uh, not only some examples of some great lead magnets that have worked for other people, but I also want to show you how you can have your own lead magnet created for you even if you don't have the skills to, uh, say, sit down and write your own ebook. But you can actually get one published that has your name on it, and I'm going to show you where to go to do that and, how, and who to contact and those kinds of things. So works for ebooks, free reports, all of those kinds of things. There's a way for you to get that done at a very inexpensive cost. 
And so you have something of value that you can offer as you go ahead and create your sales funnel. And step one, lead magnet. It's key because that's what's going to get people to give you their name and address and then go look at the offer that you're putting in front of them. So lead magnet's key. If we don't get that right, nothing else really matters. So at this point, I'm going to take you online and we are going to take a look at uh, some examples of some lead magnets that work and also some uh, resources that you can have to create your own lead magnets if you don't have one. All right, we'll see you on the online. Okay, so here we are online and I uh, actually used my phone and took a, a picture of the whiteboard so that we could kind of refer to it back and forth a little bit as we go through this training here on a lead magnet and where you can get one specifically but first I want to give you some examples of some lead magnets and lead magnets are nothing new uh, traditional businesses have been using lead magnets forever if you think of a coupon that gets you into uh, a restaurant for a free appetizer with a dinner that's a lead magnet now where I think they're making a mistake is that that's a one-time shot and they are not building a list of customers that they can then market to. So what we want to do is we want to take the old standard lead magnet like the traditional businesses did and we want to up the ante. We not only want to make sales but we want to build a list that we can market to over and over again. So let's take a look at some examples of some online lead magnets and maybe not ones that you think of when you first think about what we've written down here as far as ebooks, free reports, videos, those kinds of things. Although, depending on your niche, that may be where you want to go. And we're going to talk about where you get those things here in just a bit. But first off, I want to bring you to this site right here, uh, Lee and Pearl. And what they do is they sell patterns for dolls. Uh, clothes and accessories and so they have a thing going on right now where if you click here and you sign up for their mailing list right down here they will actually give you a free set of uh, designs for clothes for a doll and in this case it's a uh, lab coat and they will also give you safety goggles depending on which size doll you pick uh, to go along with the lab coat pattern and so to me this is a really neat uh, lead magnet to get people to not only try out their designs but then to have this uh, uh, great information here and we don't typically in the internet marketing industry we don't typically co collect anything more than uh, an email address or an email address and their name. We don't go for the address, phone number, all that kind of stuff. But they are and they're offering something very substantial uh, in return for this information right here. Uh, then I wanted to show you one that I actually did. Uh, this is a campaign that I did for a Shopify site that I have where I sell embroidery designs that were actually created by my late wife and uh, I when I started the Shopify site I had no list nobody to market to did have a fan page on Facebook wasn't a lot of people on it so I wanted to get people aware of the uh, website so I did a, a landing page this is my landing page here and you can see that my lead magnet is a free set of embroidery designs and so in exchange for them putting in their email address they got to go to our website and select any set of designs on the site and then they they got a free set and so they could try out our designs but they then also knew that our our website existed so like I said started with zero uh, list and within 30 days I had over 1500 people and I still have over 1500 people today and I only ran it for 30 days I really need to run it again because it was such a great ad uh, it cost me about eight cents a sign up and in fact it actually didn't even cost me that that's what I spent in advertising but this did such a good job that not only 
did they sign up on the list, go to the website, get their free set of designs, but while they were there, they actually shopped and returned me more money than what I was actually spending in ads for uh, for this landing site. So basically, I have uh, a video here of myself telling them, you know, what to what to expect, how to get their designs, and they have to watch the entire video in order to get the uh, password to get the free set of designs and then they have to click on this link right here which brings up this box where they put their email address and then when they submit this it's going to take them over here to the thank you page and we're going to talk more about the thank you page because this is really a very simple thank you page uh, I'm going to talk about a thank you page that actually uh, sells for you so this is my very simple thank you page. All they had to do was click right here and it then took us over to the Shopify site and that's where they could then shop all the designs here and select what they wanted and check out and use the the code that I gave them in order to uh, get their free set. And Like I said, a lot of people didn't just get their free set, they bought other sets while they were there. So. Uh, again, this was this is an example of a kind of a less than traditional um, lead magnet. But I want you to get in mind, you know, what you're looking for. You're looking for a lead magnet that is congruent with your offer. So I'm taking them to an embroidery site. So I gave them a set of designs over here at Lee and Pearl. They sell doll clothes. So they're giving away a set of doll clothes in order to entice people to give them their information. So that's the thing, that's the key thing you have to keep in mind when you're looking at creating a lead magnet for your sales funnel is that you want a sales uh, a lead magnet that is congruent, that is in line with what you're trying to accomplish with your sales funnel. So you don't want a sales funnel for say internet marketers and then you offer them a lead magnet that is uh, you know how to, how to do landscaping uh, the two don't go together so you've got to be really uh, cognizant of the fact of what it is you're trying to accomplish the market that you're looking at and what it is that will appeal to them and make them want to come in give you their information, click on your link, go take a look at what your offer is and get on your email list and not only get on your email list but then stay on your email list uh, so that you can market to them over and over again. So we talked about things like ebooks, free reports, videos of course that's just something that you shoot yourself and you're gonna have to uh, have some kind of editing uh, software in order to help you uh, create those those are very simple to create uh, you just have to uh, you know have the right information that you want to get across to someone but probably the thing that you're going to look at most are ebooks and free reports and you may say I am not a writer even if you have the all the information up in your head you say I hate writing I don't have time for it uh, I'm just not good at it I failed English in high school, uh, whatever. Those are not good excuses in today's world because I want to show you a great site over here called Fiverr.com. F-I-B-E-R-R.com. And you can actually go over here, just type in ebook writer, and up will pop all of these people that are willing to write ebooks for you. And now you see different starting prices and those kinds of things. First thing I would say for you to check out is uh, what their star rating is and how many people have used their services. Here's a lady that's got a 4.8 star rating. She's used. She's had 38 people. Uh, that's not bad. But here's a guy that's got a 5.0 on only seven ratings, as opposed to a lady down here who has a 5.0 on 339. Uh, ratings. So take a look at the ratings, take a look at what they have to offer, and then you want to go click on the link, 
come over here and you want to contact that person so you want to send them an email and you want to tell them you know what you're looking for uh, how many pages you want it to be uh, do you want the cover included with the uh, uh, ebook some people will some people won't uh, but again it's not a big deal because you can go right here to Fiverr and you can find somebody who will do a great looking professional cover for you as well to go with your ebook so everything you really need to create that great lead magnet is right here at Fiverr.com and just to give you an example of the great work that you can get done the intro video that you see on this video series uh, I actually had done here at Fiverr.com I believe it cost me about ten dollars maybe fifteen to get that uh, intro video done with the music set to it and all of that and it, it's just top-notch and quite honestly if they send you something and you don't like it send it back to them because they will fix things uh, and make it to your liking so you can get your ebook written here and Probably for five dollars, you're not going to get much of an ebook written. But if you get up into the twenty-five, thirty-dollar range, you're probably looking at anywhere from a ten to fifteen-page ebook, which is plenty for you to uh, use as a great lead magnet. And again, they are ghostwriting this for you, so you have the ability to put your own name on it as the author. So right off the bat, somebody is is seeing that you have a, a an ebook with your name on it that you're offering to them free of charge. That starts the whole building of trust with you as a marketer. And uh, even though you didn't write the book yourself, you're going to have a lot of input with the writer. You're going to give them the direction on what it is you want written and what highlights you want in your ebook. So. You are in control and you are the person who got this done. So don't feel bad about putting your name on it. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I like about Fiverr is that uh, there are other things that I can be doing other than, I, I mean, personally, I can sit down and write an ebook. I've done a lot of writing in the course of my career. So I could sit down and write an ebook if I want to. But is that the best use of my time? when there are people that I can hire to do it for fifteen to twenty dollars and that's the thing that you have to learn as you become a marketer is what pays you the most and where your time needs to be spent because uh, one of the one of the things we really want to do with internet marketing is create more time for ourselves and so we want to look at the jobs that we can pay other people to do and concentrate on the jobs that only we can do like building out our sale our sales funnel so that we have control of the quality and those kinds of things and let's farm out the other things so I just wanted to show you Fiverr.com because this is where you can go to get that lead magnet if it's a free report you can find people to do free reports if you you know whatever you want really uh, you can find here on Fiverr.com. Same way when you start your blog, let's say that you only have time to personally write one blog article a week, but you'd really like to have two. Again, you can find people here who will write blog articles on whatever topic that you send them, and then you can put those on your blog as well. So you can double your uh, output and literally anything that you want done in the way of creating uh, you know here's social media marketing here's uh, let's say you have your own uh, you do your own writing but you need somebody to proof read and edit it uh, you can get that done here that they can be your uh, personal proofreader and uh, I just wanted to show you Fiverr.com because it is one of the most valuable resources that you will find. So uh, to kind of wrap this up, you're building your funnel, 
We've got to concentrate on the quality of the lead magnet. It is the thing that is going to drive the traffic uh, to not just looking at your page and going away, but actually clicking on that button, putting their email, maybe their name, into a box and hitting send, knowing that they are going to be, then be put on your mailing list where you're going to market to them. And it's also going to take them to links where you are going to try to sell them something. And so they've got to be willing to put their name and email address in to ever see what your offer really is. And so in order to entice them to do that, you have to give them something of value. And really, it should be something that's valuable to them, even if they don't buy from you on the next page, even if they get on your email list and then you send them a couple of emails and they unsubscribe. If you've given them something as a lead magnet that has great value that they can actually use to uh, benefit themselves, they're going to remember you. And you're, you're going to be in this marketing game for a long time, so they're going to see you again even if they dropped off your list. And if you've given them value, they're going to have a tendency to, the next time they see you, come back and try again, and this time they may buy. This time they will probably get on your list and stay for a while. So you've got to concentrate on your lead magnet and make sure it's top quality. So with that, I will say goodbye for this section, and I will see you on the next video when we really dive into creating that uh, landing page that's going to attract uh, your customers and uh, work with your lead magnet to really start the flow through the funnel. With that, I will say goodbye and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.